About a week ago, Brittany gives her viewers a huge update when it comes to her divorce and living situation. Brittany starts the video out by saying, this time I have some good news to share. She said, you might have noticed I'm a bit happier. Something she wished for for so long has finally happened and she said her nervous system has been on high alert. Living in hell basically for so long and now she's doing 10 times better. Brittany filed for divorce from Ryan back in July of 2023. And since filing for divorce, both Brittany and Ryan have remained living in the same house. And Brittany has said several times how exhausting, how horrible, horrible their living situation has been for the past almost year now. Brittany has also said they only communicate via email or text message. Um, I finally have the house to myself someone has moved out and this is literally all i've wanted dreamed of wished for hoped for for so long you have no idea so Brittany drops this information at the beginning of her video and then she goes on to say that she has a lots of updates to tell her viewers and a lot of things to talk about but she's going to sprinkle that throughout the video right now she's getting ready because she's going out with some of her friends part of Brittany's video is sponsored by ritual and Brittany says they came out with a stress relief supplement and she said oh my goodness it's my holy grail this has helped me so much ritual is very kindly sponsoring this portion of the vlog i have a discount code if anyone else out there is dealing with a lot of stress this right here you guys next the conversation gets a little more serious Brittany sits down and says let's have a chat she said i've been feeling like i haven't been handling this divorce well and it's just been tricky because she's been online for over 10 years she shared a lot of her life the ups and downs and things that have gone on and she's been trying to find a balance of what not to share and what to share from my perspective i wasn't even initially going to share i was getting divorced right away i wanted to take time to process let my kids kind of understand what was going on and that information got leaked before I even had a chance to share it. Brittany said she had no intentions on sharing about the divorce for a while, but before she even filed for divorce, she was dropping hints on Instagram that something horrific was going on in her life. She posted this message to her group chat on Instagram on June 30th. I haven't shared that this group even exists, so if you're here, you're the real one. This week has been horrific, so I'm taking some time off. I'm a workaholic and always feel guilty for taking time off, but it's needed right now. I'm not sure when and how to share what's going on, but it will probably be soon. Love you all. Thanks for being here. So at that point, she had not even filed for divorce, but she was already dropping hints on Instagram that something horrific was happening. Then on July 18th, she actually filed for divorce. And on July 31st, she made her video titled, We're Getting Divorced. On July 24th, I posted a video titled, Brittany is deleting pictures of her husband on Instagram. And I went through all of the rumors because at that point, it was just a rumor. We didn't know that she had filed for divorce at that point. Reddit was also talking about this secret drama that Brittany kept hinting at. This Reddit user even said Brittany Vassar's Instagram has for weeks now been repeating that there's some type of issue that she isn't ready to talk about. I think content creators know that once they drop that little bit of tea, that little bit of drama, that little bit of information, viewers will start searching and that's exactly what happened in this situation. My video covering Brittany Vassar's divorce, actually confirming the divorce, didn't go up until August 1st, which is weeks after Brittany filed for divorce and days after she announced it. In that time period from filing for divorce until recently, things were so bad, significantly worse, I would say, than even leading up to the divorce, which I was not anticipating. I was not anticipating um, having to continue to live in the same house and all of the things that transpired after the fact. Like there is only so much one person could take. 
Brittany goes on to say that she has realized that she needs to let all of this play out in court. It needs to be in front of a judge and the evidence and the facts and the truth on the table and let a judge decide. And that's kind of what she's doing moving forward. Brittany said she's sharing less of the details, but she still will share how she's doing, the process, how she is starting over, lessons she's learned, etc. Throughout this divorce process, Brittany has been struggling in the divorce attorney department. She's had several. I believe she's on her second or third attorney now. And she said now she feels like she's in really good hands and she's ready to fight to the full extent of the law. She's not scared anymore. But now that I'm with a better lawyer, I realize, oh my goodness, night and day difference that it makes to have someone who actually knows what they're doing and is giving you good legal advice. Brittany has a new attorney. Brittany has amazing things to say about this new attorney. And Ryan has moved out. Those were Brittany's words since Brittany's new attorney came into this picture. So it sounds like Brittany's attorney has been busy. Let's look at the case details for Brittany and Ryan's divorce. As you can see, date filed was July 18th, 2023 and Brittany was the petitioner. On April 2nd, 2024, DV, prevention without minor children subsequent. April 2nd, 2024, order for removal from residence. To me, that doesn't sound like Ryan just moved out, and that's kind of how Brittany made it sound. This paperwork says there was an order for removal from the residence. So it sounds like the judge ordered Ryan to move out of that home. Also on April 2nd, 2024, notice of court hearing DV. Also on April 2nd, 2024, there's a temporary restraining order filed. It doesn't say who filed the restraining order, but I'm only assuming, this is just my assumption, that Brittany filed a restraining order against Ryan. On April 5th, 2024, proof of service for DV. On April 7th, 2024, Brittany put up a YouTube video titled, We Need to Talk. And this is where she lets everyone know Ryan has moved, that's what she said, moved out of the house. And on April 17th of 2024, there's a restraining order hearing at 9 a.m. A viewer left a comment on Brittany's video saying, glad you found a great lawyer. Brittany said, night and day difference. I just didn't know any better because I've never dealt with lawyers before. A viewer also said, I saw Scumbag's audacious video with his temporary situationship. Unbelievable. Good thing karma is absolute and the Lord is the best at taking care of that. Praying you keep everything you acquired, babe, and find the ultimate lawyer that meets your needs. Brittany responded, it's so laughably bad and untrue. I won't even dignify it with a response, but there will be major legal repercussions for him. When you heard Brittany announce Ryan had moved out of the house, what was your first thought? Did you think, wow, he's just giving up and moving out of the house? Or did you think something else was going on? And now it seems like more is being added to the table because Brittany said Ryan will have consequences for putting that video out. If you're wondering which video Brittany is referring to, I'll link it here. Go check it out next. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.